bottle shape plays a role in aerodynamics, water flow within, and center of gravity. Choose a straight walled PET soda bottle. A straight walled soda bottle is required if attaching rail guides. Generics are best, less expensive, and drain poured guilt free. Inspect for cracks, scratches, and kinks before buying or using. If you have fancy Coca-Cola bottles, use them for nose cones. These are very aerodynamic and provide more space for a parachute. Remove contents and rinse thoroughly. Fill bottle with hot tap water, 100 to 110 degrees. Let sit for one minute. Cut and remove label from bottle. Hot water softens the glue and prevents substrate from adhering to the bottle. Peel or cut cap ring from the bottle. Optional, remove glue residue with lacquer thinner and paper towel. Tighten strato fins onto soda bottle until snug. Or attach homemade fins to the bottle. A parachute can be attached with two zip ties. Rocket will not fly straight without weight in the nose cone. Nose diving at 50 plus miles per hour will result if nose cone does not fall off. Cap the bottle, giving it structure by trapping air inside. Draw a line around the bottle using the base as a guide. Puncture the bottle below the line with a knife or box cutter. Rough cut the lower portion of the bottle away. Cut precisely along the drawn line. Remaining nose cone height of three and a half to three quarter inches is optimum. The nose cone should fit on top of the rocket, but not get stuck. The additional weight aids in the nose cone falling off at apogee. Unscrew the cap. Thread flagging tape through the center of the nose cone. Leave a little excess tape on each side. Place three nickels inside the nose cone. Modeling clay is a safer weight alternative. The flagging tape will hold them in place on the bottom and the cap will cover them on top. The bright pink flagging tape helps to locate your nose cone once it lands on the field. Employ a weighted fall away nose cone.